The fifth issue, ladies and gentlemen, is about raw data. As I'm sure you can understand, we will not ordinarily release raw data from our military radar. But in this case, we have put the search effort above our national security. We have shared our data with our international partners, including the US and China, to help with the search efforts. <laughs> uh, Rolls-Royce and Boeing did not receive any further transmission beyond the last transmission that was done at 107. Um, that should not be helpful now the search of the plane. What is the remaining system in the plane that you are relying on? Or what data are you still analyzing at the moment that will help you find the plane? As far as the ACAS data, that was the last transmission. No more system in the plane. No more system in the plane. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Wall Street Journal, can you also explain, when you say that the ACAS data was lost, uh, the last was 107, what is the frequency of the transmission data, ACAS data? The ACAS data is programmed on what we call certain event triggers. Okay? Like for example, upon takeoff, upon climb, reaching the top of climb, and then uh, depending on whether you program it to report every waypoint, all right, or you can program it every 30 minutes interval into the flight, or Assuming that, uh, no, not assuming, or when there are abnormalities within any of the systems, whether engine or airframe or other things, and it will then send down data to say that something is just not right. But the last transmission received at 107 state that everything is operating normally. 